They think like, well, I've already done that exercise. I've done it so many times. It doesn't bring me benefits. Question is, how have you done the exercise? If you haven't done an exercise consciously, have you done it at all? That is when it really was awakened. And it changed everything because I started to do the same exercise that I did years ago. And I was like, this is totally different. Suddenly these exercises start to produce completely different results. And I was like, what was I doing back in the day? The injection is probably going to fix it for one month or one year. Even the surgery may not fix it forever because your main training is causing the problem and it's always going to repeat as long as you do the same thing over and over again. We have to realize that it is possible to have whatever you want, but without having the pain as a part of the plan. Yeah, I remember the times when we were in Croatia or in Australia, like Air was doing like all these different exercises until midnight. Mm -hmm. And the same here, like I was doing very weird, like shoulder articulation, like uh, like this, <laughs> like like for hundreds of reps, like in midnight, like just, just, you know, trying to find some, you know, painful parts or like uncomfortable areas in my body because many times the pain and the discomfort is is a sign. It's it's a sign of weakness. And when you and in the past we have talked about many times that weakness is actually not a bad thing. Weakness is is actually strength in disguise and potential in disguise. Because when you fix the weakness, when you solve the weakness, then you actually have strength, and that's why it's very important. But but this whole thing about you know going through the body, developing self awareness, se developing body mind connection, like these these are all like the essence and the pillars of our methods nowadays. Like movement twenty XX method is it's it's fundamentally about versatility and and the in the heart of this program and this in this method is the vari 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 variability method. And it is all about, you know, having lots of creativity, lots of options and lots of different movements and movement patterns, joint articulations and all of this. So it already covers like a lot. But then in Athlete 20XX method, we focus more on the self-awareness and the body-mind connection and giving you the the power and the understanding and the realization that you can actually do through your mind you can control your body you can develop your body and you can find weaknesses fix the weaknesses and become strong as a result which is completely the opposite com in comparison to the fitness industry which is because i used to be part of the mainstream methods and it's all about focusing on your strengths actually and it's all about focusing on the simplistic exercises like because my training the reason i developed so many problems in my body and in my joints is because i overdid like 10 different exercises which was not enough like i was just doing chin-ups and chin-ups and chin-ups like mm -hmm. over and over again like F like three times per week or four times per week or something like this and then i was doing deadlifts and back squats and just repeating it over and over again and it didn't get me anywhere actually it gave me certain things in so, so, uh, superficial terms like muscle and su such but it was everything else was mostly for the ego like i felt strong but no, I didn't feel strong, but I looked strong on paper when it came to my lifts and my abilities, but I just didn't have real athleticism and my whole body was hurting. Yeah, that's a good point. Like on paper, like it's always like this ideal uh, idea that you have and you see these people, but you don't really know what they're going through. Like you, you see the calisthenic guys and they also, so a lot of them looks absolutely impressive. They can do impressive stuff, but you don't really know what is even going on like behind the curtains. And a lot of them even came out with some injuries, like their elbows, like completely destroyed, biceps torn, you know, shoulder, rotor cuff, you, you name it. Like, and then you don't even know in what shape their hips and legs are because they don't necessarily emphasize them a lot. And usually it's very simplistic training for that as well. But, you know, you mentioned like, you know, the movement 
movement training that you see me do a lot is animal movements, the flowing and different martial arts movements, dance movements, and then the, the athletic precision training, which is like isolation taken to the highest level through the integration of the body and then even like conditioning type of training. And this also is a big part of this, um, this training because first I, I talk about this articulational like variety so you can do, you can train your shoulder from so many different angles, from so many different combinations. That's one thing. But what adds even more to that is that you can train one, uh, like one articulation. You can do your front raise and you can do it in a very controlled manner, slow movements. You can train it in an explosive manner. You can train end range. You can stretch out the anterior delta all the way back here. You can do some skin to scat or some, some better, like less uh, intense exercises where you're stretching and strengthening the shoulder. So you have active flexi uh, you have active flexibility, you have active tension, mo mobility methods for movement to next You have normal controlled movements that are more like athlete to next type of training. Then you have the explosive trainer that you also run in athlete to next So not only do you have all of these different articulations that you can train, but you can do all of those in a different manner. And that changes also the results. People don't understand. They think like, well, I've already done that exercise. I've done it so many times. It doesn't bring me benefits. But question is, have, how have you done the exercise? Because my question that I often ask from people is, if you haven't done an exercise consciously, have you done it at all? Like that's like you can ask that from yourself. If you haven't done an exercise consciously, have you done an exercise at all? Because putting the consciousness into an exercise <coughs> and the power of the mind, like you mentioned, you know, that you, you realize that you have this power, it changes everything. It changes the exercise completely. And I've experienced this so vividly many times in my training journey. We started from Finland. I did some exercises during that time. Like already, I was so ex <laughs> like somebody said, uh, you know, like midnight training and just doing stuff. I was so passionate about mapping this body. But I didn't have the methodology that we have now because we developed that also over the year, like in uh, like Croatia to Australia, we developed that to the next method, which was this consciousness. That was the consciousness, the body awareness. That is when it really uh, was awakened in ourselves. And it changed everything because now I started to do the same exercise that I did years ago. And I was like, this is totally different. Suddenly these exercises start to produce completely different results. The intention is there. The connection to my body is there. And I was like, have I even really, like, what was I doing back in the day? Like even pull-ups, regular chin-ups or something, they were, they felt every exercise that I was doing felt totally different. So you have to understand really that there is the, uh, if you go on a horizontal plane, there's a huge variety of exercises. And like I explained, you can do the movement stuff. You can do more like isolation, bodybuilding stuff. You can do conditioning stuff. So you have this horizontal plane a lot of variety. But within that, you can eat in each of these things, you can also go not just in the horizontal level, but you can go in a vertical level, deep, deep, deep. De and that's all dependent on the, uh, let's say the approach and the methodology that you have. It's all dependent on your body awareness and consciousness. But the bottom line is that people should realize that we have this power to use our mind. And people, you know, centuries ago, or at least a century ago, Actually, a million ago, if you think about Qigong, Asian Qigong and such, people realized the power of the mind intent or the E. And that is also what we are carrying even into our training, uh, this, this same power. And it's very transformative. Yeah, I would say, like, if if you are like a serious trainer or serious, serious fitness ent enthusiast, like, I would say almost most of the serious guys, their bodies are like kind of in a bad shape like they have lots of injuries they have lots of pains they have lots of aches um, because we because we used to have the same problems also but what this what, pe what people don't cannot even fathom what they cannot even realize is that there's a way and there's a possibility that you can have everything you have ever wanted with no pain but most people are on this left side where there's they get these things, a lot of things they want and desire, but mm -hmm. it comes with lots of sacrifices. When in reality, like the smart way and the and the real, like the the most 
respectful way for yourself is to actually achieve and get results without sacrificing anything like like there's no like in the past i remember lots of professional guys and lots of serious guys in lifting and sports and athletics they always talk about yeah it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice like you have to give something up to get this and like this and a lot of these guys they had like many knee surgeries many solid surgeries and stuff like this and they were just talking yeah it's part of the game it's there's no way around it mm. if you want to have this highest level but but now look at for example aero like there's not many individuals at the same capabilities and the same fitness and the same movement as aero and aero ha- doesn't have any of these same problems and i'm also doing very good training with aero and other professional fighters and guys and i don't have any of these problems either like so so we have to realize that it is possible to have whatever you want but without having the pain in the as a part of the plan and and one of the keys to actually eliminating pain is actually like uncovering the entire map of your body and developing self awareness because because lots of people when they have injuries they think there's like a magical exercise they go to like physiotherapist and they says just give me one exercise or give me this one injection or give me this one surgery and it's fixed but the, but even this one exercise is never going to fix it, it most likely it can help but very likely it's not going to help in a long run and another thing is that the injection is probably going to fix it for one month or one year or so on and even the surgery may not fix it forever because your main training is causing the problem and it's always going to repeat as long as you do the same thing over and over again you know you put some bandages over the wound but it just keeps opening up because you keep doing the same mistakes over and over again and like i said how i fixed my elbows and fixed uh, how aero fixed his shoulder and every other joints was to focus on the uh, focus on the structural balance of the body go through every single area in the in that part of the body and just develop strength mobility stability and all of these other attributes in the muscles in a balanced way in every part of the limb for example i really had to go through every single part of my arm to really make sure it's bulletproof and it's rock solid and developing mobility in the entire range of motion and stability is one of the keys to like ensure like your body stays bulletproof but it's also very important to have the self awareness and the mind body connection to keep the body in the safe uh in the safe frame in the safe lines where you don't like over reach to any any place where you might get injured or or where you might get like hurt 